I have never been on a bushwalk before where timing really was everything. We are a couple of hours from sunset, which is crucial. We've got to be at the right place at exactly the right time to see something really special. So I better get a move on. You might not have known it, but the Capricorn Coast has a Mount Etna of its very own. And it just happens to be the roosting site for more than 80% of Australia's little bent wing bats. And between December and mid-February each year, National Parks runs back cleft tours. Our guide today is Diane Vavron. So how far to the caves from, from the bottom to the top? By 1.2 kilometres. Oh, that's not too bad. No. The walk takes about 45 minutes and Diane makes sure there's plenty to learn along the way. There's over 300 species, plant species identified on the park. And some of them do have edible fruit, while others are highly toxic. So steer clear. If we get hungry, don't be munching on any of that. The walk snakes its way through ancient dry rainforest and offers up plenty of lovely views over the hinterland. And Diane tells me the tour is a great opportunity to make some new friends. I often say to people, you know, introduce yourselves because we're going to be like a little family going up there and people talk and get on really well, you know, and it's just lovely. And sometimes coming back, they're all chattering away, you know, <laughs> to each other. I just um, enjoy it so thoroughly. The final stretch of the walk sees us arriving at what's called Bat Cleft, just before sunset. It's one of only seven little bent-winged bat maternity sites in the country. Inside this limestone formation are thousands and thousands of them, each one about the size of my thumb, and they're about to put on quite a show. Now they're mammals, so they're warm-blooded. And it's just the sheer body mass of so many warm-blooded little individuals in that cave that generate the majority of the heat. So they can live their little furless babies, which are a third to a quarter the size of the adult, in a very warm, humid environment while they go out to feed at night. I feel like we are about to witness something that has been going on since the start of time. And there must be a bit of action because there is a smell coming. So I think there's movement in the cave. The smell's getting... It's not a nice smell, actually, but it's a smell. And uh, I think shortly 110,000 mummy bats are going to leave and head out for a feed. Dusk has well and truly arrived and things are beginning to happen. Just a trickle at first... It's like the mountains just come alive, yeah. isn't it? <gasps> Look at them go. Oh, it's really warming up now. What an amazing sight. Using echolocation, these bats will spend the night on the hunt for insects. They consume huge amounts too. A bat weighs about 15 grams and each night they eat half their body weight in food. I can't quite do the maths, but that's a lot of insects. Oh, did you see that one? <laughs> this incredible wildlife close encounter lasts for about an hour. And when I say close, I mean it. Really warming up, isn't it? <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> thought you were a goner. <laughs> they are just women on a mission. Look at them go. This is really, truly an experience I've never had before, and it is well worth it. Nature at its finest. The Bat Clef Tour runs from early December to mid-February in the Mount Etna Caves National Park. It costs just $10.35 for adults and $5.10 for kids. For all the details and to book, get in touch with National Parks Rockhampton. A great place to stay when you're in the region is at Quest Rockhampton Apartments. They're brand new and offer lovely apartments with views over the city. They're also close to the best restaurants and shops. To get to the Capricorn Coast, I suggest flying with Qantas Link. They have regular flights in and out of Rockhampton.